So now that we've had an overview of the business model canvas and customer development, there's some optional reading for the next lecture. Take a look at business model generation, pages 86 through 111, and pages 135 to 145. And in the Startup Owner's Manual, take a look at pages 51 to 84, about market size, and then take a look at uh, pages 188 to 199, and pages 457 to 459. Also take a look at the links below on four additional readings that don't require any of the textbooks. So that's the reading, but what should you really be doing if you want to build a startup before the next lecture? Well, what we want you to do is start working on identifying your market size, your total available market, and what's your target market. And then we want you to think about what kind of experiments would you want to use to test your value proposition, customer segment, channel and revenue model. How would you go out about doing this? Not just talking to people, but what would you ask them? And what would be a pass-fail signal for each test? Some examples uh, for the next class are available on the link below. The other thing you need to be doing, or the most important thing you need to be doing in between lectures, is talking to customers. And if you're not talking to at least 10 potential customers between these lectures, you're really not going to have enough mass, enough data, to actually get some insights. Well, you could say, well, I've talked to three. But, you know, there's no magic number, but it just turns out that, that you want a data set large enough that you can actually get not only the mainstream thought, but some of the outliers where some of the interesting answers are. So the other thing is uh, after you talk to customers, you want to every week update your business model canvas with what you learned, which hypotheses were wrong and which were right. And optionally, if you're using the Launchpad Central software, post your first discovery narratives.